Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another Hot Wheels casting spotlight. Today we're going to be checking out one of the most iconic and well-recognized 164 scale vans uh, in TV and movies, uh, just short of the Mystery Machine. Uh, this is uh, the A-Team van, uh, also known sometimes as the Custom GMC Panel Van. So depending on uh, which release you're talking about, uh, generally, if it has the A-Team style paint job and graphics on it, then it's usually listed as the A-Team van on the card. Um, but if it's painted in a different livery, um, that doesn't resemble uh, the A-Team version, then it's usually listed as custom GMC panel van on the card or on the packaging. So this is the first one. Uh, this is from the 2011 new models. This is the debut release uh, in this black A-Team uh, livery with the red stripe and the badges and decals and details. Um, black plastic base, blue windows, and it's got uh, red chrome five-spoke wheels. Just plastic wheels on this one, just a mainline release. And we'll take a closer look at... Uh, the bottom and some of the other details it's got uh, part of the windshield it's got a, a sunroof or moonroof and it's got some like fog lights on top it has a sun visor built in to the casting above the windshield it's got the uh, GMC lettering on the on the grill and the uh, push bar or crash bar on the front that was uh, a staple of the the uh, A team van. It's also got Zumi exhaust, dual exhaust. This one has a the black metal base or black plastic base, as I said. Actually, yeah, black plastic. Let's see if we can get the light just right. 2011, made in Malaysia. 83 to 84 GMC panel van, but on the card, it said A team van for this first release. It's got the little uh, Norkel wing or uh, spoiler on top. Norcal wing. Uh, no taillights or headlights, really, but you do get the GMC logo on the grill. You got side markers, stripes. It's got the metallic red uh, chrome five spikes or f five spokes. So that's the first one, the debut release. Uh, next one that was released in this casting was uh, from 2013, and this one is from the Retro Entertainment line. Now, this is a more premium line, sold for around $5 or so. Uh, so this one came with uh, Real Rider rubber tires, again, in the uh, classic black, um, but this is the black and gray, which is more true to the actual A-Team uh, TV show. It's got a little bit more detail. The fog lights up top are painted. Uh, it's got BF Goodrich uh, Radial TA white letter tires. And the slightly different uh, rims on this one. Uh, in the red chrome, these are the, the wheels are listed as BF GTA Chrome Radial TRRs. And again, the body colors, the black and gray. Black on the bottom, gray on top with the red stripe, uh, badges and details. Uh, black metal base on this one, all metal because it's a premium release, metal body, metal base. Uh, the uh, windows have a gray tint to them or like a, a tinted window. And uh, yeah, it's got the rubber tires. This one you can see has a little bit more detail. It's got uh, the taillights that are painted. It's got the... Uh, GMC logo. You can see it's got the rubber tires. You can see it's got the two tone where it's got gray on top and black on the bottom. Side markers are painted. GMC logo is painted. We can take a look at the base. Pretty much it looks like the same base, um, but this one says custom GMC. 
panel van. But I'm pretty sure on the card it said 18 van. But the base looks very similar. It's just uh, a metal version. And there's a good shot of those nice real rider tires with the white lettering. So that's uh, the second release. In 2013, there was a Comic-Con exclusive release uh, that came in a really fancy uh, box and acrylic uh, packaging, acrylic case. I'll uh, show a few pictures of that here. That was the uh, third A-Team release from 2013, Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, came in an outer, like, cardboard box with some foam in it and then an acrylic case on the inside with, like, a little uh, explosion backsplash inside. And then it had uh, uh, all metal-on-metal -metal premium uh, A-Team van. The only difference between that van and the retro entertainment from 2013 is uh, this one... Uh, same exact van, same exact wheels and everything. It's just that the Comic-Con version was like a dirty, well-used version. So it kind of had uh, dust and dirt sprayed on the body and on the wheels to make it look, uh, you know, well-used. Or it just got done, you know, going down a dirt road or, or down a, a chase straight from the TV show or movie. So same red stripe, uh, badges and details, exactly the same as the... This retro entertainment release, except for the Comic-Con exclusive came in a uh, fancy packaging and uh, the wheels, tires, and body had like a dirty effect where they had like mud and dirt splashed on them. So same exact thing. So I mean, if you if you wanted to save yourself some money, I know the uh, Comic-Con version you could find on eBay anywhere from like $50 to $200. It does have some really fancy packaging, but you could probably just buy... This 2013 Retro Entertainment release had just kind of take some watered down brown paint and just kind of airbrush some dirt onto it and it would look exactly like the, the Comic-Con version and you could save yourself some money. Uh, now the fourth release in this casting is this uh, Pop Culture Nestle from 2018. So there was quite a gap in the casting where we didn't see it for a few years uh, in this orange color with the blue stripe and the runts fruit livery. Uh, it's got an unpainted metal base and blue tinted windshield. And the wheels, again, are uh, RR, RRSs, real riders. So this is a premium release, pop culture Met, which means metal body, metal base, real rubber tires. And we'll take a closer look at the base and the tires. Again, the base is very similar, uh, just unpainted. You can see if I can get it in the light just right. It says custom GMC panel van there on the bottom. Got the real rider tires. Some nice wheels, real riders with tread. Again, uh, this time it's got a little bit of paint in the front. Looks like the headlights are painted and the, the side markers still got the crash bar and the GMC logo in the front. It's got taillights painted in the back. So a lot of detail on this one. Premium, premium release pop culture from 2018. And then uh, the last one that's been released so far is this 2018 Collector's Edition. This is a, 
I believe this was a Kmart mail-in. And you buy $20 or so worth of Hot Wheels from uh, a Kmart or Target. Not exactly sure which uh, store mail-in it was from, but you send in your receipt for $20 worth of uh, mainline Hot Wheels and a uh, check for five bucks for shipping and they send you this one in the mail so again this is the 2018 collector's edition mail-in uh, I believe it was the fourth mail-in of the year the mail-ins are usually uh, numbered as to which one it is for the year and this is that's what the the significance of the number four on there uh, really uh, some paint job on this one. It's got the Spectra Flame dark red color and then the tampo is the blue and black flames with the Hot Wheels logo and the number four. Uh, black metal base, gray window, gray tinted window, and a chrome, chrome red RR5 spokes. And it's got the, uh, the red trim ring. Let's take a look at the base. Really detailed piece, really uh, deep metallic red. A little bit of metal flake in there. Really nice piece. Cool Hot Wheels flames on the side. Uh, it's got the red trim ring on the real riders. Black metal base. You can see it's listed as custom GMC panel van, which is the way it was uh, listed on the card, I believe. Made in Malaysia. Really nice rims on this one, or wheels. Still got the, the GMC logo on the front. It's got the crash bar, fog lights on top, and the uh, NorCal winger spoiler up top. Lots of painted detail, taillight detail. And uh, I just so happened to grab I happened to get, I did the mail-in uh, and got this by sending in my receipt and my uh, money order for the shipping. They sent it to my house, but I actually found one for sale on eBay that was uh, selling for selling on eBay for very cheap. I think I paid less than 20 bucks for it um, before the mail-in was actually available. Uh, this was probably pulled off the uh, the factory assembly line in Malaysia because it was shipped from overseas. And I got a really good deal on it. I wasn't sure if I was going to do the mail-in. Um, and I think this one was kind of uh, before the design was finalized because if you notice, take a look at the wheels. They are the correct wheels, but they don't have the red trim on the wheels or on the rims. Uh, the standard release did have the red uh, trim ring on the wheels, but this version I got uh, from eBay did not have that red trim on the wheels. It also is an unspun, and if you're not familiar with what an unspun is, it means that it was never actually riveted together, like it wasn't finished. All right, we could kind of compare the two. So the camera will focus. See how the one on the right here, uh, the post that goes through the body isn't mushroomed out on the bottom or hasn't been spun down on the base to hold it together. See how they look different? And on the bottom. Which means that this one is able to be uh, disassembled because it's not... It's not uh, completely riveted together. Well, I believe I took it apart once before. And don't, but of course it's going to fight me here on camera a little bit. So there's the there's the chassis or the base there's the wheels 
The wheels just set in those little channels with the axle. So the wheels just come, if you're not familiar, the wheels just come on an axle like that and they fit into the little slot. So there's the base. Here's what the interior looks like. Looks like it's got four captain's chairs and a little bit of a, a little bit of a detail on the dash there. And it looks like there's actually a, a third row bench seat in the back. And then it has a part that extends out, which is the uh, crash bar or push bar on the front. Take a look at the bottom of it. There's a little feet that kind of uh, go over the axles to keep the axles in the little groove. Let's see which way it goes here. I think it, I'm pretty sure this is the front. So it would sit on there like that. And then here's the body. You can see it has the grill and the headlights, but it's got a little channel for where the uh, push bar can fit through. You can see the uh, glass is fit into place in the body. And here are the posts. The posts, how they stick up. So if you're ever kind of curious how it all went together, and then the body just sits down on the chassis. But you kind of have to have everything lined up just right to get it all to go back together right. Which is kind of usually easier to do when you got it when you're off camera. When you're trying to film it. That's when it's going to fight you. There we go. Here it kind of comes together. So, that's an unspun. So, kind of cool that I have an unspun version of this with different wheels. And uh, I got a really good deal on it on eBay. So, like I said, I bought it before I knew if I was going to be uh, doing the mail-in or not. But I did. Uh, next up, this one is not an official release. This is one that was uh, given away as a promo on uh, at one of the conventions. So this is a, a, a convention custom, just done for advertisement. I actually uh, found this on eBay, and it wasn't too expensive. I paid a few bucks. I just thought it was kind of cool to get a kind of a convention custom of this same uh, A-Team van. But this was, I believe this was just a promo that was given away, maybe in the lobby of the convention or, or at one of the events. And I uh, actually found two of these, uh, bought two from the seller, one with real riders and one with uh, mainline wheels, plastic wheels. I kept the the real rider version, of course. And I passed along the the plastic wheel version uh, to Champion DJK as a roke. Random act of kindness. So you can see this one is a custom. It's got some um, Allen head rivets or screws to hold it all together. B&M collectibles. There's the phone number. I'm not really sure if they're still in business never really bothered to look them up but kind of a cool little custom uh, to add to the collection uh, one last custom that I got is uh, this chromed version or uh, polished metal this was probably started out its uh, life as a runts van and then it was the paint was stripped and polished. You could probably use a little shining up. I, I've had it for a little while and might have got some uh, 
fingerprints on it and whatnot. But really cool, all polished metal version. No paint with uh, chrome wheels to match. So another cool custom in this uh, A-Team van slash custom GMC panel van. Hot Wheels casting. All right, then I just got a few more to show you. If you're interested, if you're a G, uh, A Team Van fan, uh, there are some companies out there besides Hot Wheels that do make the A Team Van. Uh, this is a Green Light, Green Light brand casting. A little bit different as the uh, NorCal wing or spoiler on top is a separate piece. Uh, it also has a separate piece for the uh, sun visor above the windshield in the front. It's got a uh, more realistic, um, true to the show, uh, hurricane style wheels. It's got the zoomies on it, which are a little bit more detailed. Green light usually is a little bit more, a little more true to scale and a little more detailed. Uh, so slightly different than the hot wheels version. Uh, it's got the two-tone paint with the gray metallic and the black. You can see it's got uh, license plates and painted headlight and taillight details. Let's take a closer look at the base. Metal base. It's all pretty much all green light R, I believe. 1983 GMC Vandera. I think that I'm not sure what that one three five five seven number is. If that's uh, if these are all numbered pieces, you can see it's got some detailed pictures of the exhaust, drive shaft, bottom of the engine, leaf springs, gas tank, nice rubber wheels, pretty detailed front, license plate, interior. See, this is a panel van, so it's kind of hard to see in the interior as far as, like, what's in the back. Kind of need to shine some light in there to see what's going on in there. But real cool piece, and uh, if you're a big A-Team van fan of the shows or the movie or just the van itself, uh, you might want to check out one of these green lights. I also have a Miho exclusive version from green light. And this is, uh, it's a special chrome version. It's got the uh, metallic silver on top, and then on the bottom where it's supposed to be black, it's actually a chrome. And it's got kind of like chrome red wheels instead of just red wheels, like the normal version. Uh, there's also a hitch and tow version, I believe, by Greenlight uh, that came with uh, a truck and a trailer and a van. And the van has that dirty effect and I think it has a couple bullet holes in one of the doors so there's also like a third version I would imagine because they have this casting they probably will crank out a bunch of versions uh, you can see it's kind of hard to see because it's so shiny but it is chrome chrome base rubber tires and uh, there is a chase version of this van where the whole thing is chrome the top and the bottom above above, above and below the red stripe is all chrome which is the chase version so if you see one that's all chrome maybe snatch it up because that's a chase piece and that's a another green light uh, I've got one more to show you this is actually a racing champions Ertl release uh, if you look at the the card on this particular release, it says Ertl and Racing Champions on the card. So, not sure if it was this was a collaboration or if this was a time when the companies were kind of working together, or there was some sort of merger. But this is the Ertl slash Racing Champions version of the A Team van. A little bit uh, cheesier. Uh, more plasticky, not quite as true to scale, 
It's got a kind of a weird rear bumper that sticks way out on it. It still has the the crash bar in front. The wheels are plastic. And they just, it kind of feels light and chintzy. It just doesn't have the weight. And you can see it says Ertl on the bottom. But it did say Racing Champions on the packaging. So, just plastic wheels. Doesn't have anything for interior in it, I don't think. Uh, maybe like a front seat. And then you can see... This uh, rear spoiler is kind of like a separate piece. It's like glued on the top. And that's your Ertl slash Racing Champions 18 van. So that's pretty much it for all the different A-Team vans. Um, but we're kind of more focusing on the uh, Hot Wheels versions. In this Hot Wheels casting spotlight, but I just thought I would show you some of the other companies out there that also make the A Team Van slash 1983 GMC Vandura. I uh, hope you found this uh, video informational. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like or a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.